Right, so we're going to try and fix the gearbox on the Range Rover Sport. So just to recap, we've bought this car, we've got it cheap, the gearbox had gone on it, the guy who owned the car before us had the gearbox replaced, but it, the gearboxes need to be coded to the car. Now there's two ways of doing that, there's the hardware way of doing it and the software way of doing it. The hardware way of doing it, you need to take the Megatronics module off the gearbox, which we made a bit of a pig's ear with, with doing it. But if you watch the video there, you can see how to do that. So if you don't have any access to a software updater um, that we're going to use in this video, you can do it. Watch the whole video because we tried to get the IC out, but that's not possible to get it out. We were misguided by the picture. Um, you've got to change the whole black plastic bit, but that will make more sense if you watch that video. Right, today we are full of hope that we are going to do this using the IID Bluetooth tool. So the guys at IID have sent us an email. I've sent them the chassis number details, which took a bit of doing. I had to update my uh, the um, the software on your phone. If you're using the IID app, make sure from time to time you do update the software. And if you're going to send them the ECU there is a field in settings where you have to input your email address. Make sure you do that because I didn't and it, I lost a couple of days um, getting frustrated. Right, they sent us the email. Right, so this is the IID tool <clears throat> and they've said, right, plug it in. They've given us some instructions. So as ever, we'll fumble our way through it. So you want to plug that in, Dan, and then you've got the instructions of what you've got to do there. You may have to... So it says click software update. So... It says, plug in the tool and click software update. Has it come up with anything? Right, so before we plug the tool in, we've got to go to the Gap Diagnostics website. So Dan's doing this. You're not really super tech, are you, on a computer? No. No, so if Dan can do it, we should be all right. Right, Gap Diagnostics. Go on to the Gap Diagnostics website. Um, and then what you've got to do is you've got to sign in up here. Oh, there you go, log in. you got it, Dan. already logged in. Oh, it's logged us in. So go log in. You'll come up with your password screen. Okay, like this. And you enter your password. And, oh, is it going to let us in, Dan? Yep. Yeah. And then where do we have to go, Dan? My so, products. My products up the top there. Alright, it shows we've got two tools, but probably for you guys only show one. And you can either go update or how to update. And let's see. And that brings the updater. And then I think you've got to click on the update. And But when you plug it in, it says start the IID and then plug your tool in. Okay, so let's start that then. Right, download. So what is it? For PC? Yeah, we're yeah. PC. We're not... Right, and then I think go save file. And then you might have to go into my downloads down in the computer, down here. Um, or go on that one, that, that one there, I'll help you. And then go to downloads, you got it. There you go, and there's your update file there. There you go, and then you get this. Publisher, yeah, hold on. Do you want to allow yes? We want to allow gap diagnostics to. Right, there we go, it's downloading. All right, let's. When do I plug it in, do you reckon? Right. Let's click next. Warnings. I accept that IID are going to trash my computer. Then. Yeah. Right, it's going to extract it. Right, install. <laughs> Alright, so we haven't plugged it in yet, so we'll let the computer do it. It's wizardry, all this stuff, isn't it, Dan? Yeah. Is he going to fix the gearbox? I Better do, because we're having a hard time for yeah. mashing the mechatronics unit. Mm. Everyone's it's giving me grief for that. Then. Right, finish. Right, so is that... So I think that's all done then. So if you go down here, Dan, and type IID, and then it IID, yeah, it's got the update at all. Click on that. There you go. Are you sure you want to run this product? Yeah. That's just an uninstall. Oh, no. Okay, so it's put a little icon on our desktop, which we can click on. 
And then you go, oh, let's plug it in now, Dan. So I'll plug it into our USB port. Here we go, he says. Get the USB port, right. And then try find device. Right, and it's saying, what's it saying? Name Simon Jefferson. IID turn to three. And then. The program flash file only. Only, yeah, try that. Right. At the end of this operation, there will be one file on your device. Do you want to proceed? Ah, and there we go. And this is the one we're after. Look, yeah. transmission. And it's got my chassis number. And they did that. They did that yesterday for me. So, yeah. Right. So, what's it saying? Custom field was transferred. It is now safe to disconnect the tool from your computer. All good so far. Right, so we've done we've done this bit of the process here, and you can free, freeze your screen if you want to read that. You don't need me to read it out to you. The next bit is now we're down here. What to do in the vehicle? So we've got to go to menu, service test, transmission, clear adoption values, and then we've got to go menu, ECU, flash transmission. So this clear adoption values. The adoption values is where the gearbox self learns mm -hmm. and accounts for your worn oil and your style of driving. Now, whenever you change the transmission, obviously the values stored in the ECU could be the ones from the old gearbox, even though the ECU was in the gearbox. So I don't know how that works, but I guess clear it all and then update the firmware with the new one. I think it will be all right because I think it's probably copying across the contents of the old transmission i don't know but we'll have a look we'll just do what they say danny eh? yeah. right here we go let's go and jump in the car and see what happens all right so we're just loading gap we've plugged the tool in down in the odb2 port search for tool oh hold on let's get the lights on right and then can you remember what it's service test i think it said yeah. on it and then we have to clear adoption values right where does it say TCM transmission. Mission, that's got to be a good thing, isn't it? Clear adoption values. Yeah, that coming up all right on the... Proceed with this routine, yes. Executing routine. Clearing the faults. Oh, gosh, eBay item has ending. Operation successful, continue. Right, and then go back. And then what was the second thing? We might have to go back to the computer and remember what the... Actually, I think it was vehicle reset from memory. Hold on, let's go and check then. Right, good job we checked. Right. right, and then it was, so you go back to the main menu, and it was, hold on, where are we? ECU flash we're looking for. ECU flash. Was it service test? Ah, oh, there you go, no, ECU flash. Right, and then... We need to transmission. Transmission right at the bottom here. Right. Flashing an ECU may lead to... Right, one thing, make sure you've got a good battery charger on your car. Because when you're flashing ECUs, if your battery goes flat halfway through, you will brick your car. I mean, we'll brick the transmission on this anyway, it doesn't do anything. But, um, key point, and you can run your engine, but make sure you don't do that in your garage or you'll die of carbon monoxide poisoning, which we don't want to be responsible for right so yeah go and go and go and show everyone we got the charger on Dan. go and just check that we don't right so we have now got the battery charger on good job we checked there right okay so right continue and it should tell you battery voltage on here somewhere anyway i can't see it on the screen continue right oh gosh right then right read manual what to do in case of failure hmm okay we'll do that later flash duration Six minutes. Six minutes of my life. So, right, right transmission. We're going to write to the transmission. Yes. Wait in for completion message and keep it all connected at all times. And make sure your phone's got some charge in it as well. We're at 91%. But make sure you're all set because this could, could go wrong. Right, so it's checking the voltage, which I think is to check you've, you've got your... Oh, look, all the things have gone off. My airbag lights come on. It's like demons are taking yeah, over your car. Oh my god, we've got a disco going on, Dan. What's going on? Flashing in progress. 
should we stop there if it's going to take six minutes? Oh, oh, right. Um, what will actually can you work out how to do it on the editing to speed it up? Do you reckon? I can have a go, have a go anyway. Well, we'll, we'll keep video in and we might like wrap it this bit. All right, so it's still going. You'll be able to see the time at the top there, so you'll see how... Oi, 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 That wait, was wait. just in time. What's it doing? It's like my car's been taken over by demons. Hell? The phone's been removed. It's got all sorts going on. Flash completed. All right, switch ignition off, then on. We can cope with that, can't we? Yeah. Should we wait for it just to settle down a bit, or... All right, so I do, do I, I'm going to do that before I press continue. So that's ignition off. That's ignition on. Continue. Clearing faults. Upload succeeded. succeeded. Continue. Flash completed. Right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, it's saying the bonnet's open. I'm going to straighten the steering wheel, but let's have a look at the messages. The first, let me leave the tool there. If you have a look on the messages on that dash, Dan. Right, when we turned it on before, right, what was the first message that came up? It was like transmission unavailable, yeah. limited gear availability, yeah. wasn't it? Do you want to film it from? I can't from, see. yeah, I need to turn the steering wheel. Can you just lean on the steering wheel a bit there, Dan? Right, here we go, here we go, that's it. Right, system check in progress. Bonnet's open. No faults. Bonnet's open. System failure. Special program's not available. Something's not happy. Oh, that's just the suspension. Special program's off. That's all right. We've got the bonnet open. Bonnet's open. Right, I reckon we need to take this out for a road test. So let's tr chuck the trade plates on it and take it out for a road test. Cool. Ready. Right, here we go. Oh, wait for a car. Is he coming in? Nice yeah. Rachel. <laughs> right, here we go. Right, so there we go, £3,000 Range Rover Sport, gearbox, it's changing, right, let's put it in manual, or sport mode, and then we can go up, right, so you can see here, Ben, you see we're in gear three, gear two, and if I slow down a bit, we'll go for gear one, I don't want to break the gearbox, right, gear one, two, three, well, that's all good, isn't it? Well, let's put it back into auto. So, yeah, to do that, you just flip that sideways like that. All right, now, where we've cleared the adaption values, the gearbox ECU now, the TCU, the transmission control unit, now needs to learn how this gearbox, how the solenoid valves, how the oil works. So, you've got to drive it. The instructions say you've got to drive it sensibly but carefully. And you've got to make sure it gets into all gears. So you've got to get it up to 70 miles an hour. And then over the period of a few days, it will start to learn the values. And your gear change should get smoother and smoother. But if I just accelerate now, gently. This is one nice motor, isn't it, Dan? Yeah, For 3K. Right. Um, right, so we're all looking good. So we're going to take this out for a little drive. Just get it up to speed, up to the roundabout and back. Then we're going to go and try and get it booked in for an MOT test. But we've got to put the headlights back in first, haven't we? Yep. Right. Excellent. We're, we're buzzing. We're on top of the world, are we, down? Yeah. Right. I hope this has helped someone. And uh, thanks to the guys at IID for helping us out with this coding.